Oh yeah, well, one thing I was wondering is, um, so a lot of times people come on our podcast and they'll come with us and tell us, oh, our goal is to be native in Japanese. So, but for, for like conversely, you're you're very clear cut on your expectations with um, both Chinese and Japanese. So I was wondering, what would you say your goals would be for, um, I guess we can talk about Japanese, but I guess just language learning in general. Sure. Um, my goal right now is to maintain Chinese and not forget it. <laughs> uh, it's very hard when you're not in the environment, even with Chinese roommates. I'd say my absolute prime was when I was back at school doing presentations, but um, I don't feel like I've forgotten anything. It's just, uh, you know, recalling it, bringing it to the the front of your brain so you can bring up these words very quickly in conversation. Uh, my goal, yeah, is to maintain Chinese, and I think that next year I want to get a job where I can use Chinese and Japanese. I was very close to that this year, didn't quite make it, didn't quite make the cut because of the time. <laughs> you know, you got to worry about uh -huh. visa issues here as well, so right. I want to be able to use Chinese and Japanese for my job. With Japanese, um, learning business language, that was so hard with the interviews that I did. Maybe that's why I failed some of the interviews. <laughs> <laughs> Finally got one. You know, all you need is one, but there were quite a few that were like, eh, no, um, you know, maybe next year. And maybe next year I can do better. So uh, I really want to spend this year leveling up my Japanese to get it to business level, improving my accent as well. And um, yeah, I'm gonna need it for daily life with my fiance. <laughs> right, right. 